welcome to Comcast Newsmakers in Sacramento. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about a big digital media arts festival in the Capital Region. Hi, I'm Steve Swatt, and thanks for joining us. My guest in this segment is Dr. Bill Bronston, who is the president of Tower of Youth, uh, which is devoted to uh, all things digital arts, I, sh I guess we should say. All things teen creativity Te and Teen citizenship. creativity, there you go. <laughs> and citizenship. And yes. so this festival, which is the 20th, yes. is a film festival. I guess we can't even call it film festival because it's not film, That's but right. it's, it's a digital, digital. Fe right. festival Video. of uh, teenagers. You've been doing this for 20 years, and it's a huge event. Well, October 7th, Friday, at the Crest Theater, starting early in the morning, we'll have a, a total giant audience of six, seven, eight, nine hundred kids there that are going to be looking at the best movies made by their peers across the entire United States and Canada, across North America. We've been inviting the best movies in every year for now, this is our 20th year, and so f during the middle of the summer for three weeks I have 25 kids in my living room, you know, curating, looking at all these movies, analyzing them, scoring them, discussing each one of them, and then they wind up on stage in pairs throughout the six-hour showcase day, introducing each movie one at a time. And the movies are simply sublime. They're, they're profound and unique and so different from commercial adult movies that it's really night and day. The seriousness, the, the way in which kids are magnetized by controversy, the issues that they deal with, grown-ups dare not talk about, schools dare not teach. And so the content of these films is absolutely compelling. And, and brilliant and, and, and moving in the extreme. Now these are kids from the U.S. and Canada. Correct. And I gather they're making these movies on their own time, not in schools? Well, most of them that we get as a result of the North American call come from community-based media training programs, not high schools per se. The reason for that is that most high schools teach software. They don't teach art, media, storytelling, and larger kind of issues, whereas the community programs are very tied up in issues of social justice, issues of equity, issues of self-identity, issues of racial integrity, issues of gender, you know, uh, questions one way or the other that kids are absolutely riveted on in this period of time. It's really quite amazing. I know you're one of the most forceful advocate for media, digital arts, digital media arts. Uh, that I'm certainly aware of, and you believe the schools are just missing the boat. Totally. I mean, the schools are operating in a 19th century model. Kids really should be coming to school with content in their cell phones. They should be coming to school in order to learn how to apply the content. Schools should have digital media in every class, in science, social studies, English. I mean, the whole gamut of schools has to be built around visual communications, digital media communication skills, because everything is the internet now. Every business has a, a website, and the children are not being matriculated with those chops. So this is uh, it's called Real Roots, it's your 20th uh, anniversary, 20th annual event. Right, the this, theme for this film festival. And you can watch this film festival uh, live on, yes. stre on streaming. Correct. If they come to our website, which is towerofyouth.org, that day, they can click right in and be in the theater with us. And it'll, it'll be, it'll, be re it'll be rebroadcast nationwide, really. Correct. Right. And then, of course, the really exciting part of that is, which we've never done before, is I'm inviting home right our alumni. We have about eight to 10,000 of our kids, which we're trying to reach through Facebook in a variety of ways, to ask them to come home to talk about their career arc, to talk about what it is that they anticipate happening in their lives in the next 10 years, because they're also operating in an ancient system. All right. Dr. Bronson, it's been a pleasure having you back. It's always great to uh, hear from you. You uh, are so uh, forceful and passionate about your work. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Stephen. I really appreciate the time. And thanks to our viewers for watching Comcast Newsmakers in Sacramento. I'm Steve Swatt. Thanks for joining us.